creates the excitement. I know you're ready for it. Should we get the teams out? I said, should we get the teams out? All right, well, we have possibly the greatest player to ever play this game. Understandably, the question is, how would they manage playing today? Spodek, everyone here, please welcome to the stage right now, it's Navi! today in a few minutes time is a team where yesterday we saw one of the greatest players ever on this stage and I'm not even talking about Nico I'm talking about a 16 year old who stood up to the biggest stage and showed what he has will he do it again today will they take on this team let's find out please welcome to the stage it's G2 <laughs> Simple versus Monacy. Nico versus Electronic. What more can you ask for? What a perfect position for it. I'll see utility over. Spot for first. Waits it out. Simple strikes. He didn't see the second. He didn't see the second. He looked back. He was pumping the shotgun. That denied his vision. Jax gets underneath. And down goes Simple. Monacy and Hunter come in as well. And it's a pretty clean execution. You were right. He was in the right spot. G2 yeah, moved into an early lead and had a man and a positional advantage in round five. But Na'Vi had the simple Exchange. advantage. This is going to be tough, Finn. Monacy's got another. There's the peak. It's all on to Simple. Electronic finds the initial kill. What a great flick. Simple absolutely nails Alexi B. And you're right. They gave up the pit side. But they got the information on the re-peak from Finn. As Bruins wraps back around, Jax is up high on the balcony. But he will fall down below. And it is all left to Nico. One on two. And he is the late lurk. Palm's still down on that side. Simple shut out by Smoke. They are uncertain of Nico's timing. And they don't want to overcommit to be caught off at an off angle from balcony, so Nico will work it up. The rifle versus Simple's AWP and Electronic to support. Electronic right now sitting in moto. Was this gun barrel spotted as he tried to peek out? Because Nico certainly thinks otherwise. See Simple down low, but he has arrived in the server now as he gets his third kill in the game. Second in the round of the AWP, and Navi have their first. Yeah. And the retake forced away. Here we go, Simple. Run boost. Oh, oh, baby, he wants to get aggressive. He's got it. Absolutely what you'd expect to see from Simple on this stage. I said he was going to be aggressive. He's playing with a motivation right now to stand above, but finding Jax up close. He wasn't quite ready for it. Bit does get the trade, so it will still be a sustained advantage for Na'Vi. Flashbang shown for Rapside. They're going to move in. Monacy couldn't find anything. No mistakes given by Navi. Here's the hit, but the crossfire, oh, so strong. Monacy misses a chance. Down to 10 HP, and he's going to fall at the end. Double kill for Bit in the round. He just cures the AWP for Simple in the next. Down slash potentially for Hunter. Off the door. Hop out into the lane. Forces them to look away. Boomish fully blind. Nico goes on that. What a call between the Kovacs. And now Simple's traps a recovery. 7-2 to two off the back of the timeout. Navi were awake, finally, and Simple cut three G2 members down on the B site to give Navi a workable halftime score. Decision almost it seemed, but Simple's given the utility to Boomich. He wants to play with the gun. He wants to do the dirty work himself, and he'll start it off with Alexi B's head being removed. Boomich will now step out as they swing wide and try and compensate for the emo position, and Simple flashes himself back into contention. With the loss of Nico, Monacy, the next one inside of the site, and it's Perfecto that's going to be pushing in the backside, trying to close down this defensive sandwich to hold. Simple knows one has gotten over toward the ruins. So instead of trying to fire back close range with the AWP, he repositions, gives Jax information. Pumich survives and stays alive. Good pre-fire attempt from Jax. Good read, but Simple's going off. He's got two more. He'll swing it around. Perfecto, three in a row. Now we're starting to see them come alive. This is the energy that Navi exactly needs. Positivity on the stage. 
I'm surprised on this though. Perfecto slow to plant the bomb, not feeling safe in front of the fountain. Has no one that's actually holding the top side of banana, so they're stuck in the site. They didn't even try and slow this retake down by putting a forward stance on that, despite the information that was attained. And you were right, they had to go on it. And now they have to hold predictable position. Simple's already removed. Perfecto, good for one. Bit's gonna chime in as well. He'll get taken down in the end, but Bit back towards CT. Trying to bait Boomage back into position as well as they're both holding off on the same angle. Nothing to cover the bomb yet, but it's not planted for them. They can go in behind the fountain. It's the wrong guy. He's taking the diffuser. It's not the diffuser, but Bit's got the kill instead. And Na'Vi get the round. What a gutsy win from Na'Vi. They had every disadvantage in that round. Usually that retake in Banana is not that quick after the plant, but G2 is there and ready to fight immediately. Incredible. Simple couldn't pull back the round after Navi walked into a B stack, however, and G2 were back in the game with their first of the half. With the AK bit again, not finding enough. He's going to rotate back. This is the full stack. They see the first Boomage tagged. They haven't got the shots in return, and it's falling apart. Now the crossfire problem. Bomb is down on the deck. 28 seconds. It's not so much the time that matters, it's the positioning. They can't get the kills back. Jumping over, running, gunning. Perfecto's only good for one, but Simple spinning around finds two, and it's he that has to clutch it back. He needs to win it. This is out with 17 seconds. Jack's back to towards CT as well. If he doesn't get Alexi B fast enough, he won't have time to go for the plant. Now he knows he does. Now he knows he can put this down, holding, baiting Jackson. If he goes to try and counter this off, oh, oh, simple. Has he done too much? Has he complicated things? Has he gone away? Oh, no. HP. He's gonna move forward. It's, no, he didn't get it. He didn't get it down. No way. Jax is gonna win out the round on time alone. Simple, best leaving it to his name. Goes too complicated in the end. G2 wants to go for a retake. It looks like setting up for the flashbang. Here it comes. Nico's going to swing first. Anthony Flash, good shot from Simple. The timing on it's perfect. The shot, Modesty can't get away. They're too dedicated to the retake. And Navi, you've got to know what a massive advantage you have at this B bomb site. Ignore that smoke. Boomage coming through, and he's got Alexi. Sight cracked open, and eighth round is on the cards. Unless Hunter can do something special, but he's backing away already. Oh, and Bit actually just heard two players drop into the pit. That's going to be called over. So information at least gained for Navi. They're starting to formulate a picture of what this defense looks like. And now the question is, what kind of a call is Boomich going to come up with? Double pit is what they know they're going against. So they put the wall of smokes. They actually just want to isolate them entirely. One as well on the balcony. That's going to give them no vision, but they still have to get inside of the site. And Hunter's the third in this picture. Nico, the fourth. This is not clear cut. This is still dangerous. This is Navi again going toward a stack, and it's been completely removed. Absolutely obliterated. It is now overtime and match point for G2. Oh, my heart bleeds for Navi. That collapsed so. But it was Monazi who shut the door on his old team, sucker punching a pair of Navi attackers to close out the game for G2. Monazi. Around the corner, he's getting aggressive. Oh, flashed off, good flick over. Jax has protected him from behind. He's got another. Wheeling back into the bomb site, and that's the knockout punch. Five on two, and Alexi's covering the flank. Oh, there is no joy in this round for Navi. Still in this, though, you've got Perfecto's AK and Simple's AWP. What a time for Monacy to strike with a double like that. Bomb down inside of the pit. This is almost impossible for Navi. Alexi B, you said it. He's got the flank. He's rotating around on this. In fact, you can clear from the apartments as he goes up toward alt-middle. They try and boost simple. No shot success on the first attempt toward the pit. He'll head toward the lane. Tough position. Hunter gets above. It's all onto him. A one on five, and he's not going to get the first. Jax closes it out. Monacy starts it. Jax closes it, and it's one nothing G2 in the series. Bit kicked off Mirage like a man possessed. An audacious ace gave Na'Vi the 1-0 lead. Bring a smile to the face in these shitty times. So um, whatever the result, I hope people are enjoying themselves. And uh, I'm very competitive myself, but today I will not focus on that. I'll focus on just celebrating this and uh, thanking everybody for coming by and showing support for, for, for every team. And thank you, everybody. Thank you. Second game in a row that the Glock has opened with a headshot before the USP, but Nico's able to slide back. Gets all the way into the shadow position, unaware, however, Simple has come over the top. Bit gets the kill instead. There was no support as the smoke goes down toward the top side of Connector as well. It's just Hunter that has vision. Monacy wants to get up above. He's done so, but he's taken down again by none other than Bit, who's coming alive. He's got four in this. He can start it off with an ace. We talked about a sophomore slump. Well, how about a sudden turnaround? And him stepping up would give Simple so much space as he swings as well. Boom! Oh! And he'll start it off with all five. For Navi. That's beautiful. What a way to get it started. A powerful pistol round from Bit. For Bit to get inside. Yeah, but they don't like the fact that they've lost mid control. They don't like the fact they don't have a whole lot of information. Good kill from Honesty. That's the office boom. It jumps up into the window. Huge Molotov delay. Simple's coming through. He, he don't care at all. Nico inside of the bomb site. There's some space for him to work with, but not for long. And now Modesty arrives. 
Got the first one. Electronic found. Simple. Tagged. So low, but Hunter's moved away at the wrong time, though. He's got back. He swings around and takes Umich down. Umich dropped the hammer on the B site to execute a flawless one versus two on low Good find from Hunter. Spot simple boosting above. And Alexi B knows there's going to be a take on this. He's ready for the counter play. And in comes the MAC-10. Nico striking immediately. Does knock Electronic back down. But they have the AK oh. still in play. Four HP, mind you. As it's a make no mistake. Umich. Time, 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 time. Say, Nico, you're right. Six seconds. Crossing over. They're not there. Oh, just barely. Just barely in time. They'll get this bomb plant down. Boomich, Tech 9 in position, but now comes Jax. He was so good previously in this tournament. Hasn't done a ton in terms of impact in this game so far. Hasn't needed to, to be fair, but Boomich definitely does. Mentioned his opening. Goals this time. He's got a lineup. He's got one of the M4 already. Modest. Oh, he's done it. And Boomich is back. Boomich is going to make it huge find four. God, did they need him. What a brilliant round of clutch for Boomich. Speaking of flawless clutches. Does Modesty want to dedicate his life to this bomb site? Modesty on catwalk finds the timing. Eight seconds. If he can drop the bomb, it'd be everything. But it travels into the site. One on two for Modesty now. It's sacrificial. Gives his position away. He wants Modesty's end goal. to find all three. How fast is this guy? Nico holding his nerve. Shot Monacy again. He's not alone in this position. He could be. Just leave him there. This, this kid doesn't need a babysitter. Well, that one's actually, that, there's obviously some skill, but that one's intelligence. He knows the second player, if the op shows there, the most likely position is another rifle to keep space. So he knows the second player is going to be looking for his teammate, takes advantage of it. I think that clutch from Monacy might have knocked Navi out of his half. They are dropping everything. No fight going this way, or going their way. Not done yet, Jason. All right. Gonna keep adding some stats to this <laughs> bit as well, closing out the round, another multi at four. Navi was round. shook. Shook AF, as the kids say. G2 overturned a two-man advantage to pick up double figures. Navi looked defeated. Had Monacy broken so them? for G2, there's 30 seconds on the clock. Haven't found any of those picks that they would have liked. Boomich gonna be forced back a little bit. He's gotta be careful. Electronics attention is now split. Simple, gonna hold the line with the USP. Great headshots, a fourth added on to it. Let that man go for the ace. Boomich will clean it up at the end. And Simple shrugs it off. He's gonna hold his nerve once more. But they are swinging still. Nico in the AK, gets the re-peak as well. They tried to swing it back, had to play the right side peak as he was close to the pillar, but Simple sneaking with the AWP. Bomb goes down, he's not down. He's gonna work his way in, and Boomich has the angle in the position. He gets both instead. Simple never needs to strike, but we- Navi aren't the, considered the best team in the world for nothing. Simple and co pulled Navi back into the game. Simple was hoping the longer he stayed, the sooner that Hunter would have figured he'd already left the position, but he gets caught in the last second with the pistol. Perfecto, however, is holding the line. Boomich and Bit, Bit's on the flank. There's no one coming from Mark. There's no one coming from the checkers position. Hunter taking out Perfecto. Pitt's a little bit late, a little bit tardy on the position in the take as the smoke down is also gonna make things more difficult, but Nico is well aware that there's likely gonna be someone arriving soon. He'll take him out and it's all on to Boomich. One versus two. Big man's got moves. Gonna try and go for the jump, no mistake on it. And he gets up to catwalk instead. Jumps further forward before he's heard. He's not yet aware of this. He's gonna go for the bomb plant back. Exposed. Nico's low. Boomich has clutched one back already in this game. Starts it off well. Nico's the one that killed Simple. Surely he has to be aware that he was up toward the oh. position, and he certainly is. Calm, composed, and Boomich will make it 12-12. You gotta give a shout out to Boomich from the first map that he had. Such a tough map. It was Monacy once again who stamped his authority on the A site though again, to shut down Navi's chances at recouping end. To win it back unless Electronic can get an angle. He and Vic converge. And just like that, they steal position in the round. Ball not yet planted, but Nico forward catches out Electronic, and Bit gave position away inside of the site. He had to go back in behind ticket. No smoke down. Monacy's able to see through. He's not done there. He'll get and to end it all came Nico, G2. the man that you can't forget in all of this, who nailed the one versus two to move G2 into the grand final. It's only the Deagle. This is going to have to be perfect. Starts off very well. Trying to counter the peak out. Hunter though holds it, and they both go down. Couldn't get a second. Simple though. He'll come back out to get Monacy down, and he's not done there as he rotates over the MP7 to work with. Spraying and praying at this point. Praying quite literally that he finds one kill through a Jax on one HP. Would have been a great target to find, but Hunter will get the bomb in position instead. 
That one HP still might be a factor, or is he? Nearly swung out. Nice shot for Fecto. He's giving them a chance. Nico has to reload. Simple's got an AK pick. No! Oh! It's the headshot instead! And Navi removed, erased, and it's G2O oh, as they'll find their way toward the final. Honestly, we're a little sad. We really wanted a third map. Alas, it was not to be. Um, how much does not having a studs behind you like affect your ability to change things in mid game? Is it not important? having coach? Yeah. Behind, of course, like uh, Ikstas is really important to us. He means a lot to this team, especially when we are playing uh, LAN events. Of course, when he's behind us, he he knows how how to change pace, when to change pace, when to read open, and how to read open, and how to help us to 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 focus more, to focus better. And uh, of course, it means a lot to, to us. But he's here on the game preparation before we we, we go. From his room, we are going on TeamSpeak, and he's helping us in preparations and telling us what we should do and how we should do. And of course, now having Amanek behind us is helping because they are talking to each other as well. So Amanek knows sometimes how to help us because he is telling him without telling us. So that's good. Awesome. Okay, final thoughts. Like, what's your good feeling tomorrow? Like, you're hyped. Do you think you're going to take it regardless of the opponent? Honestly, like, I'm not thinking yet about tomorrow. It's time to celebrate a bit, like, at least two hours, next two hours. To, to eat together, to have a dinner, have a drink, go to the gym, and then I will focus, after they finish the game, I will focus more about tomorrow because I don't want to focus on two teams. Cool. They're a team that has never played on this stage. It is the Danish Brotherhood. Please welcome to the stage, it's Heroic! It's a cliche to say it's been them against the world, but just because something's a cliche doesn't make it not true. Do you know what, though? If it's them against the world, watch out, world. Taking them on is a team that has been shifting sands when it comes to lineup. Who's playing? It hasn't mattered so far. They've been in the moment, smiles on their faces, and they have done the business. Please welcome here a team that wants to prove it doesn't matter who is wearing the shirt, but they can win. Is he wearing his hat? If he is, watch out. Please welcome to the stage, the Land Clan. It's FACE! He's wearing the hat. He wanted to be back on the big stage after an absence, and he is back here. And it takes a lot to play CS at this level, playing it in the moment, but that's what they're about to do. So then, Spodak for the second semi-final to see which team will be playing in the grand final tomorrow. Down here, are you ready? Okay, this side, are you ready? They're more ready. You at the back, are you ready? Everybody, are you ready? Let's get it on. Are we go? Yeah. Are we fucking go? Yeah. My fucking gun on the fire. Brokey began the second semi in style with a wonderful quartet of kills. Banana, looking elsewhere, in towards this A bomb site. Refresh and Shush here to hold the fort. And Shush down in the pit, gonna make contact first. In this smoke now, Refresh comes in to lend a helping hand. Gonna have to be more than that, as he's overwhelmed. The two on two. FaZe have found their way in. Now they just need to get it over the line. Rookie scavenged a pistol. He's got that range game at the tip of his head. Waiting for Heroic to make a move. No kit right now. They're split. 1-1, one, one, short, long. Boki on the bike, and it's a one-tap to lock out Tessa. Oh! Boki, four to start. Certainly what FaZe needed.
Battle of the Orbs is out, though. It was about time. Oh, yes, aggro swing. Oh, that's clean! A site cracked wide open, and yeah, that could very well be the round. Util into the B site. This is the execute. They're coming in. Tess says, gonna have to swing through this smoke in CT. Not really left with oh. many options. Refresh burns alive. He's so blind, he doesn't even realize he's gonna. Heroic had no answer for Brokey, who once more outplayed Tessus in the clutch to make it nine for FaZe. Tessus heard it. B. He thought that would fool them. It has a refresh already on rotation, already set up inside of a Brokey. A chance at the 1v1. If he gets past refresh, it feels like it's all coming together. Time ticking away. Oh, the spray converts Brokey. Now just one man left to beat, and it's Tessez again. The man that Brokey got the better of last time in this clutch. This would get in his head. This would devastate him. Brokey. You're not play. supposed to win these this often. He's wrapping all the way around. He's playing the long game. He knows that Tessez is sweating right now. The pressure's on. Silence falls. There's nothing happening. Tessez swings back and Brokey locks in. Another one round for FaZe Clan. Another clutch and this guy comes alive. They've got a, a lot out of FaZe Clan and now they're going to commit with the exec. Is this a faster round? Finally. JKS just got the info that B's clear. FaZe now, no. Holding on along. It's Twist with a double. He's done his job, but there's down with a reply. A hell of a reply at that. The smoke spam could go a long way. That's the bomb at long. If it gets dropped, the round is lost. And this down does well to get the hell out of there. Stack here for now. And again, it could be the perfect call to pop into this other bomb site. Molly is ready, but again, it's contact play. They could go through. Oh, good save. Yeah, still, they ran this exact strat okay. yesterday, and Heroic look aware. They've done their research. Oh, oh. Carrigan so blind. Turn to dust. Tess says, more where that came from. More still left in the tank, perhaps, as they do flush out. This sight man in JKS. Look, he's already on the scene. This guy doesn't like to hang around. He wants to play into it here and now. And there's the first. Oh, swinging out. He's seen another. Brokey. This isn't even a clutch, but he's doing it all alone. Incredible. So cool, man. With FaZe faltering, it was the Latvian again who painted the B-Site with the blood of Heroic and put a nail in the coffin. First blood, FaZe Clan. Come down to the lobby lurk, Rops on this fast rotation, and oh no, Stown's looking the wrong way. Rops has cracked it open, giving them a reason to believe, giving them a reason to go for this. Two to his name already, gonna need the third, gonna need the follow-up, Tess says, out on an island. And Mops doesn't seem aware. This is the only man left in lobby, and Tess says wins that fight. JKS, the stand in, the man who's showing he can do it all. And now, he's entried like Ray. He's lurked like Rops. Now expected to clutch like Brokey. And it's not going to happen. Time eludes him on this one. Just exits is the name of the game. And oh, he's going to get them all at least. And the Orcs have moved. They got to dig deep in their pockets to keep this one up. Oh, no. Behind and he finds refresh. No info to go off. Will they even discover this second orb? Oh. Will Brokey just deal with them before they even learn about his presence? They try to dodge it. They try to go in through main. But look who's found his way into the heavens. In the right place at the right time. Brokey's going to be here to lend a helping hand. They set up for this A crunch. They look to move in, but this orb is a thing of terror. Just hearing it ring out with shots is enough to put the fear in you. And so Heroic are going to have to look for answers elsewhere. Oh. Dead. That's the bomb. Dropped over in main. Cadian lost to the hands of time all the way over in CT spawn. And there's that second orb. They learn about but it. But FaZe doubled down to collect the next two. And it was the crowd's favorite player who helped himself to a quad. But this time FaZe are in the right place. Carrigan, first contact made, wins that fight in the door. The hot players now, it's all on them. Jake oh, just doesn't what? realize how close he came to dealing the killing blow, and instead, it's Carrigan just tapping them out. He lost alive. The reality's setting in, there's no chance to even find a ah. lick of damage here. Carrigan silences him. He faked the reload, man. Ah, oh, Carrigan, Eco Cobra. And that's showing, both in the calling and in the stats we're getting out of this guy.
<laughs> a clean sweep on the 4v4 retake piled even more pressure on Heroic. Rocks here alone, and he's got Brokey moving in to join him. This is both AWPs leaning heaven's side. From the high ground, they need to have answers. They need to have a reply. Mollies don't force a reposition, and the early tag does deter that initial push. However, make no mistake, oh. the kills are coming in, and Refresh is suddenly in the blink of an eye, the only man left standing. Ow! How do they do it? Four on four in a post spawn. Heroic had all the time in the world to pick their spots, and face just shoot them where they stand. Eyes of Heroic look up and down. They're firmly on the skies. They know that this heaven retake's been a consistency. Brokey, this is going to be hard pressed to find much. Swinging out, twist. Oh. oh, it's actually Brokey to steal it. Now they know that Tess has all alone back of the site. Time's ticking away. Twist can't find him. And to time, Tess has his locked around in. That's more like it, heroic. Keeping it simple. Back to back to back A hits. And they're winning more than they're losing. Carrigan pounced as Heroic dithered to sweep up three dilly-dallying Danes on the lower side. Through ramp, they're here, they're meeting oh. Heroic in the middle, and over the top it's Carrigan in with a double, oh, making it third! Steals their thunder, and only refresh left standing, a Glock, that's all he's got! You can't win this round, it can't be done, it should be a lock-in, and he's spotted now, Will down, phase, stellar response. It's hard to tell if it's a call from KD and if it's a mega brain play, right, waiting for a vent drop to fly back. Yeah, something needs to give. You either need to get past this man and be or Stown's got to do something. With so little time left, your hands are tied. Oh. They catch Twist lining up Util. That's the opener right there. That's given a plant over. Carrigan's here. He can steal the round away, but they've got him. They've got him boxed in. And oh, Tess says, hell of a round. Might have been tagged on the collat. Might have been wounded. In the, in the yard. They didn't finish him off while they could, and now Brokey just wanted to escape, wanted to elude capture with this orb. He's not gonna go back. Not crowd go bade back. for Refresh's blood, but he stayed cool to silence the crowd. Now we're starting to see those anchor players start on A and stay there as well. What a pace! Cadian right up in the face of Twist. That's more like it. A bit of a, a bit of aggression, and it's coming from Rops as well. Oh man, he's fired off, but they don't know. Silenced M4, gone after one. That is such an important trade for Tessens, but Carrigan. Oh man, this guy and the heart. It's a real love-hate relationship. And that round, you're gonna be left hating it. Tessens holds on to the lobby. Hello. Still waiting, still waiting. And oh, JKS with the swing. Left in a 1v1, refresh back in heaven again. It's almost a nigh on replay of the last round. JKS swinging wide, looking for him. Refresh with the turn. JKS might have brought the fight to him, but Refresh is more than comfortable there. Top of the server almost. This is this is Heroic's chance to a very good T side, right? Yeah. This is a this is a horrible buy for FaZe. This is right where you want to be. Ooh. Okay, there's a tag from the scout. They're still coming. They're still trying to flood him. Oh. JKS. Oh, wanted the gun. Oh. Now look away for a second, but the bomb goes tumbling. Brokey's now armed. Oh, he's looking to go through. We'll decide against it. Elects to play the long game. <laughs> Carrigan trapped the heart, but we'll get silenced by Shush. It's not surprising anymore. You know his tricks. Now he's got to go all the way around the world. If they get the bomb and go B, that's fantastic. But with Shush in the lobby, they might want to just crunch ramp together. Twist has the timing, but he can't hit the shot. He's drawn their attention. Brokey needs to capitalize. He needs them all, and they're collapsing upon him. They don't clear the corner. Oh! He lines up a double. Oh! And five. And phase. They lock Heroic out of their map pick. This might be the end of the Danes on the big Heroic stage. sleepwalked into Brokey's embrace, and he was more than happy to collect four. The Danes were bleeding out as FaZe moved to 14 with a quick topside hit. And then FaZe waltzed onto the A-site like they owned it to confirm their spot in tomorrow's grand final. Spoda has been chock full of them. But as some stories start, one must end, and that might be Heroic here and now, FaZe. They've had a pacey T side, safe to say. Molly outside has disrupted smokes. Twist is flying through. Oh. Twist is flying. Swats down. Out. It's JKS with a kill instead. It doesn't matter who gets it. FaZe, as a unit, as a five, 
are walking over that finish line. Yeah, they're going up into a heaven. This is an info that Heroic have. Now they do. They know that JKS is here. They don't know about the second man. He's a nasty surprise. And as they deal with JKS, now they become aware of oh. twists. Doesn't make it any easier. Phase are only getting cleaner, only getting faster. Twist has missed his timing. Ooh. Flicking back to Evan now. Oh, they are here. Tess says with the timing. Backstab, there's the first. Needs even more. He's been the one man able to deliver today. The one man to try and make magic happen, but it's always been denied. It's always been counted. Rops and Twist left up in this nice. one, and Rops all alone. Another clutch to close it, and this time it sends him to the grand finals. Phase versus G2. Nico versus Carragher. Loser was the problem back in Boston? <laughs>